Hey everybody, I want to go over how to create a uh, gradient background using a dome light in Cinema 4D and Redshift for those of you who may not know how to. Um, so let's add in two, well, let's just add in one for now. One dome light, um, we'll add a sphere so we have something that we can see. Um, let me grab my render view. This is from another tutorial that I'm working on. Um, so let's just refresh this. Okay. So there's our super developed scene. And uh, what we'll do in the dome light is add graph. And that will create a material for us for our um, dome light specifically. And what we're looking for is the C4D shader node. Uh, we need to increase the texture. And then the shader we're going to use, we have options here, but we're going to pick gradient. We're going to plug this into the back plate because essentially for us, uh, we want this to be a back plate. We can also plug it into the general dome map so we can see um, uh, the lighting effect as well. Um, and then you can see it's going horizontally, the gradient is, and we want it to go vertically, so we'll change it to 2DV. And then um, we can adjust the uh, position of the knobs of the gradient to wherever we want to. So in our dome light, let's turn on backplate so that when we move around the back plate is always in the same place and in the same uh, the gradient is the same right and that's usually what we want if we're using you know a gradient background like this and then we can uh, let's uh, grab this other um, Grab this other dome light here. Uh, I'm going to exit out of this graph for now. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to go into the first dome light, uh, check off general. So this is not going to be used for any primary lighting purposes. And then this one will be, but we have to check off background. We don't want a background uh, being applied for that one. And then let's see. So what we now have is a primary a uh, dome light lighting our scene and then a gradient background uh, being applied from this dome light and you can see as we move around we get the different uh, lighting from our HDRI that is lighting the scene and then we have our nice gradient uh, in the background and we can always go back in um, to the shader graph click on the gradient and we have our controls exposed here so if we wanted you know a different color um, we can easily and quickly adjust uh, the gradient and have it stay fixed in the background um, and yeah that's it's really straightforward and simple but uh, you know, if you've never, if you've never learned how to do it, you know, you wouldn't know how to do it. So this is the, uh, this is the way to, to go about doing that. And you have some other, uh, some other little controls to look into here. Um, but that is the, the main, the main part of what we're doing. So that's it. A uh, really basic one here, but a really useful uh, thing to know if you don't know it um, you, s you can use this on tons of tons of stuff um, really helpful uh, so yeah that's it for this one I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next video bye